<laughs> Say, Ava, does Neville Chamberlain have a wife? Because I might just have a girl for him. <laughs> Friday night. I just got home. There must be someone more exciting to be with than the Hitlers. If there is, I sure ain't looking at him in this corridor. So, uh, tell me again, who's this big shot that's going around there? His name is Neville Chamberlain. The British Prime Minister. Arnie, we should get to meet him. Why? You want Ruth should find a nice man so she don't need to stay with us? No, I want Ruth should drop dead so she won't need to stay with us. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, okay. Ruth and Roosevelt, that I can't see. But Ruth and Chamberlain, they only need to meet and they'll be sweet on each other. Where do you get these ideas? Honey, Ruth is always talking about how nice it would be to go to England. So's Hitler, but he's not going to marry Chamberlain. Trust me, Arnie. A woman knows these things. Fine. If it means getting rid of Ruth, let's party. Arnie, how can you not like that kid? Okay, honey, I'll get it. Wait a minute, I got a list. Uh, hiya, Bob. Is he here yet? Who? Uh, and he always acting the clown, honey. We baked him some Chelsea buns to make him feel at home. Yeah, and here, a pot of Lord Grey tea. Earl Grey. The tea is called Earl Grey. Ah, uh, Lord Earl Duke, who's counting? You see one Englishman? You seen them all, eh, shorty? <laughs> you told her. I said, don't tell her. But still, Miss Big Mouth told her. Adolf, I swear I never told her. She knew we got company. She saw me preparing the food. But I did not tell her who. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay. 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 That's good. They don't know. <laughs> 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 so, Adolf, when's he due? Who, Rosa? You know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You don't know Neville Chamberlain is coming here to Germany? <laughs> she knows. Not tell her, did I, Rosa? Uh, no, no, um, I just figured it out. Spontaneously. <laughs> you just figured out that Neville Chamberlain was coming. Spontaneously. <laughs> Did you have a glass against the wall when you figured it out, huh? Yeah, that's exactly it. I was listening at the wall. Did you hear that? <laughs> I don't Adolf, believe. Are you crazy? You wanted to get out that Adolf Hitler insults his neighbors? Now relax. Lighten up. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. I gotta think nice thoughts. Poland. <laughs> the Sudetenland. France. Okay, mm. okay, okay, I got it. Okay. This is what we do. We get the Goldensteins tipsy so they fall asleep. Hmm? Then we can bundle them back to their apartment. What could be simpler? The dummy who thought of it. We got a better plan. Yeah, we go in there and we punch their heads together. <laughs> okay. We do it your way. <laughs> so, uh, how's it hanging there, Arnie? Say, why don't I pour you a glass of schnapps? Oh. Yeah, you can tell us another one of those crazy catering stories. Uh, hey, easy there, bub. Uh, you want to get me rolling? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I'm saying to the wholesale nut distributor, or was it the whole nut sale distributor? <laughs> More schnapps, honey? Oh, what the heck? Fill her up, Blondie. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hi, Hitler here. No, Bob Hitler. Who do you think? <laughs> oh, it's you, Joe, yeah? It's Joe Goebbels. Hi, Joe. Listen, can you, could you speak up there, Joe? It's kind of hard to hear with the Uber Alice playing in the background. <laughs> what? Chamberlain caught an earlier flight, so you went out to the airport to meet him? I, 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 say again, Joe. I didn't quite catch that. You did what, Joe? <laughs> Apparently wasn't too sure what the guy looked like, so he stood there with a large piece of cardboard with the guy's name written on it. <laughs> Don't move, Joe. I'm coming right out there. Okay, let's all go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just make sure that when I get back, they're gone, okay? Ruth says she's coming over just as soon as she's changed. Well, I bet Ruth's exhausted watching that bird on its wheel. <laughs> She'll be fine. Oh, I got another one. You're gonna love this. You ready for this? That. Ready? Who's this? Who's this? Gee, I win. Wonderful party. Good night. No, it's not a monkey. It's, it's Ruth. <laughs> You're so Ruth. <laughs> it's not Ruth. It's your mother. <laughs> Not a monkey. <laughs> I say, Adolf, Adolf, what would you call a polar bear with three balaclavas on? I don't know, Neville. What do you call a polar bear with three balaclavas on? Anything you like, because it can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no more Neville or I'll burst. <laughs> <laughs> About that business with goofball Goebbels when he arrived at the airport. Oh, forget it, forget it. <laughs> he spelt my name wrong anyway. <laughs> but he suddenly made up for it, though, with all those blonde chappies in their fancy dress uniforms. Fancy dress? <laughs> I dare you know. For a moment, they almost had me believing it was for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get me like that every time. <laughs> hey, and the funny walk. Oh, the funny walk. And the funny walk. Oh, that slays me. <laughs> Mr. Limey? Wow. Pleased to meet you, fella. Any friend of a shorties is a friend of mine. <laughs> meet the wife. <laughs> Enchanté. Oh, they speak French in England. I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, go ahead, honey. Go for the big one. I go, oh. yes. <laughs> Chamberlain, how about a pot of tea? Oh, all right. Here goes. <clears throat> I'm a little teapot short. <laughs> there's my handle, there's my spout. When I get my steam up, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Ava. Honey. Ava. Honey. I lied. There are two drunken people in my living room who look very much like the Golden State. Now, honey, listen. This could be your lucky break. This was lucky. Out there with the golden stains is lucky. Honey, listen, think about it. What could be better than for Chamberlain to see you're just a down-to-earth guy who has fun with his neighbors? <laughs> you're right. You're right. I'm a lucky guy. Gotta think lucky, gotta be lucky. I'm a lucky Hitler. <laughs> hey, sounds like I'm missing all the fun. Uh, great party, great party. You should have warned me, though, Adolf. I, I could have brought along a, a partner. <laughs> oh, excuse me, oh. everybody. Oh. I just have to pop next door for a moment. <laughs> no, Rosa, no, please, please don't do what I think you're going to do. Honey, it'll be fine. Say, Adolf, old chap. Do you think I could have a word with you in private? Oh, sure, yeah, sure, sure. Come on into the kitchen. <coughs> so, what is it, buddy, huh? Well, I, I was just wondering if you could do me a favor. What is it? A girl? Yeah. You want me to uh, fix no, you up? No, 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 no. It's just that I feel, well, 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 we all feel, that you have been rather a naughty boy, all this Czechoslovakia nonsense, eh? Oh, come on, <laughs> Neville. It was just having fun. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but I have got here a piece of... Uh, well, uh, here we are, yes. A document... <coughs> Peace in our time. Peace in our time. <laughs> yes, you see, you see, th this guarantees that you won't be a naughty boy again. <laughs> oh, so if I sign this, that guarantees I won't invade Europe. Yeah. Well, 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 I mean, no need to sign it now. Oh, just think about it. You know, no point in spoiling the party. <laughs> no, no, no rush, no rush. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, sure, Neville. Say, yeah. Neville, what do you say to a small drink? Hello, small drink. <laughs> You kill me! <laughs> Peace in our time. <laughs> Boy, you invade one little country. Everyone is on your back. Well, I ain't gonna be signing this thing.
I came, I saw, I came back. I came, I saw. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Say hello to Rose. Hi, Rose. Grab hold of the pure of butt. Okay. But, but I came, I saw, I came back. I came, I saw, I came back. That was fun. <laughs> There's someone I want you to meet. Oh. <laughs> Neville, this is my niece, Rose. Rose, this is the British Prime Minister. <laughs> what is this? A secret gobble scheme? <laughs> what say I go scare up some munchies? <laughs> Honey. I ain't dating at the moment. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's a bold piece of baggage, isn't she? <laughs> Dating on Thursday, and there's a picture of the Berlin Plaza, and you can pick me up at 7.30 if you like. Really? <laughs> You're a lively little thing, aren't you? Do you want a lock of my hair for your wallet? Oh, well, that seems like a fair swap. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a scream! Wait a minute, I appear to have mislaid my document. <laughs> I better find it, or I shall look a bit of a ninny when I get back to number 10. <laughs> hey, 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 go chips and dips for everybody. Hey, hey, I found this in your refrigerator. Is it important? I can't make it out. It's all wet. Peas in our brine. Ooh, well, let me have a look at that thing. Oh, peaches. Peaches in our tins. No, no, that ain't it. I got it. I got it. Peace in our tin. No. <laughs> it's peace in our time. Peace in our time. <clears throat> Adolfo chap, you weren't trying to hide this, were you? Me? You don't think I... Oh, come on. I mean, look at me. Look at my outfit. I'm just one of the boys. I'm a real fun guy. I mean, tell him. You know me. Tell him about me. Well, you do have all those tanks and battleships you keep trying to hide. <laughs> Is this true? I, yeah, there's all that talk of invading everywhere. Rye land... <laughs> So that in the land. Shame on you. That's it. Get out! Mm. Wait. He's doing one of his funny routines. Get out of my apartment! <laughs> through the leg, through the leg. Now, you gotta catch this, it's funny. Hey! I don't know this game. What do we do? I'll tell you what you do. You spin on your butts. <laughs> you walk up those stairs. Walk up the stairs. You march. Cheapskate freeloaders forever! How about a little one for the road? Yeah! <laughs> well, maybe you didn't notice. <laughs> well, it, it seems like we got your card marked right after all, Adolf. You really are off the wicket, aren't you? <laughs> You're mad, that's what you are. You are raving mad. No, don't try and deny it. You are a very, very naughty little Hitler. <laughs> a naughty Hitler? Are you kidding? Hmm? You put the knife in my heart. You realize that, Neville? I invite you into my apartment. I let you drink my schnapps. I introduce you to my charming neighbors. This is how you repay me. So, would a naughty Hitler sign this piece of paper? Well, I... I Pen, I, I, please. I, oh. <laughs> Now, am I a nice Führer or what? <laughs> all right, all right. Let bygones be bygones. <laughs> but remember, <clears throat> no more naughty little invasion plans, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, <laughs> Neville. From now on, I'm the sweetest Mr. Nice Guy you know. Yeah, thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I must be off now. Time for my dinner. <laughs> oh, Neville, before you go, aperitif. No, thanks. I've got a pair already. Oh! <laughs> now, where's that saucy little girl? Oh, there you are. Now, tell me, which restaurant would you like me to take you to? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that, babe? Huh? You're living with one slick fury here. Oh, Mr. Sausage. Oh, uh, hoochie coochie girl. Little bit.
bit political there. Oh, sorry, I thought I was doing a bit of a Ben Elton there. Ben Elton with you in a few moments here on Galaxy. Very wise decision, sir, one lady owner. You obviously know a great deal about cars. No. No. But I'm getting inspected by a man who does. Well, do you know how to get Gerald to Chester without going under any low bridges? No. But I know a man who does. Luggage and rack? Yes. Beloved spouse? Yes. Good self? Yes. Start the car? No. But I know a man who can. Whatever your motoring problem, you'll find the answer is joining the AA. The AA. We're all you need to know. Are you the man who can? Hey, most certainly. This is very nice of you. Is it very nice? You're man? a very nice man. Oh, my goodness. You're a very nice man. A very, very nice man. Should I? Shouldn't I? If you're undecided about registering for prospectus in the 12 regional electricity company share offers, remember this. Okay. It doesn't commit you to anything. <laughs> to register, ring 0272 272 272. You could buy into what you plug into. called the man with the bionic mouth. His views are red, but tonight his language is definitely blue. Don't say we didn't warn you, as Galaxy allows Ben Elton the last laugh, with a performance liberated from the constraints of conventional British television. A little bit of politics, but a lot of language. As the Galaxy Comedy Weekend continues with Ben Elton, the last laugh. This work. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an evening of stand-up comedy. Right now, we want a full Monday, cranked up, throw down, fifth gear. Welcome for me, the act. Now, in his first public appearance on television since 1989, author Salman Rushdie talks to Melvin Bragg. Hello, tonight on the South Bank show, the writer Salman Rushdie. Eighteen months ago, in February 1989, the author Salman Rushdie disappeared from view, forced into hiding after the publication of his novel, The Satanic Verses. Despite the unparalleled cultural and political crises which have risen around him and the enormity of his situation, Rushdie has continued to write and has now produced his first book,